They've been locked up in their palace by their father for speaking out against women's rights abuses in the kingdom. The women have given my colleague Andrew Farmer a first-hand account of the situation. We are running out of food and, uh, and we ran out of water. Um, we're just sitting actually see water. That's what we're doing. This is how bad it is. We're, we're on survival mode actually. Uh, we're just sitting water. We're eating some expired food. Um, whatever we can find. So. Over the last few weeks you have had a lot of international exposure about your fate. Do you sense that that is helping at all? We're still waiting to hear uh, from, from the so-called international community, um, everyone who's defending human rights and all these so-called human rights organizations to, to come out and, and actually hold uh, the king and his son, Mr. Ben Abdelaziz, to account. Well, the king allegedly locked up his daughters 13 years ago, but some are claiming that move had little to do with their rights campaigning. Their incarceration came not long before he divorced their mother because she failed to give him a son. Political commentator Nasir Alamari shared his thoughts on the father's actions. I think Abdullah himself uh, has, uh, is considered by many Saudis to be a reformer. And uh, it's hard to believe this when you see that his own daughters uh, are actually being treated this way uh, uh, just because his ex-wife uh, refuses to return to uh, Saudi Arabia to, to be under his thumb, I guess, because she is an ex-wife. Um, uh, at the same time, there are a lot of Saudis who believe that King Abdullah has uh, uh, has actually uh, reformed uh, Saudi Arabia. He talked at some point about allowing Saudi women to vote, uh, but things are extremely slow. Well, rights abuses in Saudi Arabia have long been a controversial issue. Rights groups say women there constantly fall victim to domestic violence and are not allowed to do things we take for granted, like driving a car, for example. Freedom of religion doesn't exist in Saudi Arabia, as all confessions other than Islam are banned, and those arrested for speaking out against the regime are often reportedly subjected to brutal treatment. In an exclusive interview to RT, the princess's mother says her daughter's case is just the tip of the iceberg. They speak about driving, it's funny. They, ha they need women in Saudi Arabia, they need more than driving. They're, they need their rights first. My daughters were mistreated psychologically, but some are physically uh, abused. And this is either by, sometimes by, by a brother, a father, husband. Yes, my daughter's plight is highlighting this.